All right, guys, in this video, we're going to cover how to calculate mean, median, and mode, plus other descriptive statistics using the data analysis tool pack. So in this video, I've got my mean and median data set open. So the first thing I'm going to do is go and make sure my data analysis pack is installed. So it's data, and then here's my data analysis pack. If you do not have this, please go back to the Excel Basics module and read how to install it. So I'm going to click Data Analysis Pack, and it's going to give me a dialog box with lots of options. So this is the first time we really use this. So these are all the options that are in the Data Analysis Tool Pack. We're going to go through about 10 of them this semester. For this assignment, or for, I guess for this lecture, not really assignment, we're going to go with descriptive statistics because that's what we're doing. So it's going to ask, Input means what data are you using? You can see the little square says input. So what data am I using? And then output is a separate little box. In other words, what do you want Excel to give you? So the input range, um, I'm going to highlight everything in this. Okay. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to highlight just class one to keep it simple. So you'll notice I did this differently than a function. With the function, I only highlighted the values, but with the data analysis tool pack, I also highlighted this label of class one. So I'm gonna click enter after I've highlighted that. What is my um, groups by? I'm going with the column. So you have to know the difference between a column and a row in this case, it's a column. Since I have a text box or a label in that first row, I'm going to check this box. That lets Excel know what to call this. This is class one. Now the output options are um, what do you want Excel to do with the results? So I always do this output range and it's going to ask you where you want to put it. That's what this little box means. And I'm going to put it just um, right over here. It doesn't matter where you put it. Um, this will put it on the same worksheet. I like that because it makes it all on the same page. You can do a new worksheet, which will put it over here, like on sheet two. Now down here, you have to tell Excel what you want. If you just click OK, it won't give you anything. So you have to click Summary Statistics, and that's the only box you need to check. After you have it set up like this, you can click OK. And I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Okay. Now here we have lots of things. Okay, so in the Excel basics, we talked about how to adjust your column widths. You will want to do that so you can see everything. We also talked about how to change the number format. So I wanna change this to numbers because I've got this weird thing here and lots of weird things happening. This is kind of hard to read. So I'm gonna go to my number format and format it like a number. That's gonna change everything to um, two decimal places, okay? So this is my descriptive statistics box. Now everything we've done in this module is here. Here is the mean, here is the median, here is the mode. Now what in the world does this mean? If you get an NA, that means no mode, okay? There's no mode because in class one, none of these numbers occur more than once. Now some other things that you'll wanna see there's a count here also that tells you how many um, are in that class one, okay? Now, that's a really quick way to check your work as far as if you did the function right. If you wanna use the function average and do that, you get the exact same answer. 27.4 here with the function, 27.4 here with the um, tool pack. So whatever way you want to do it, whichever way makes sense to you, do that, okay? Now, I'm going to actually delete these and show you something else too. I don't have to do them one at a time. I can do all of them at the same time. So if I go back here and change my input to be everything, so what is it grouped by? I have it grouped by columns. I've got labels in the first row, class one, class two, class three. I'm going to put it in the same place I had it before, and I've got summary statistics. Click OK, and it gives me this big box. Now, before you click anything, don't click out of it. Make sure it's gray and change it to a number. 
Okay, and then you can go in here and adjust your column widths. Scroll this way a little bit. Okay, now what can I see? I can see the means for all three classes. I can see the median and the mode for all three classes. And I can see the count for all three classes. Okay, now again, here and here there are no mode because all the numbers occur um, the same amount of times. But here, on class two, we do have a mode. The mode is 44, and I can see that because that number occurs two times. Okay, so that's how you use the data analysis pack um, for finding the descriptive statistics without using the functions. If you guys have any questions, let me know.